Poker Tove. How are you? Good morning. It's Tuesday. That means it must be Tour Tuesday. Cool, huh? Well, I hope your weekend was as happy and busy as mine. We had bar mitzvahs, we had people getting better, we had people retiring, we had good stuff, okay? This week is turning out, except for those poor folks dealing with Harvey, in our part of the world, things are looking good. Although it looks like we may get remnants of Harvey and nothing like those poor people in Houston. And I'm sure that Louisiana is not gonna have fun in a little while, but we wish them our luck. We wish them our prayers. And if you have anything to donate, commercial time. If you have diapers, if you have toothpaste, if you have soap, if you have sleeping stuff, if you have anything like that, donate it, okay? If not through the JCC, go through your temple, go through the Federation, call the Federation, somebody wants it. Heck, the, um, the Red Cross can use it, okay? There's lots of people out there who need it, okay? So, let's talk about this week's Parsha, shall we? Okay. This week's Maimonides found 72 mitzvot in this week's Parsha. 72. That's a lot of mitzvot for one Parsha. There are ethical mitzvot, ritual mitzvot, family values, all kinds of stuff. I want to explore Ser Bali Ham. Preventing the suffering of animals. Today, we call it animal rights. And I think it especially fits this week with um, Harvey. Don't leave your, people are leaving their cats and dogs and they're tied up and they're, don't start. Okay. There's a mitzvah that you must rest your animals on the Sabbath. There's another mitzvah that your pack animal is overloaded or struggling with a load you're required to lighten the load or help the animal with it. Another one says that you can't take it out on an animal if you're fighting with another person. Another one states if you're plowing a field and you're using two animals, they have to be of the same size and strength so that the smaller one doesn't have to strain to keep up. Then there's the mitzvah of the mother bird. If you're hungry and want to raid a bird's nest, you must chase the mother bird away from the nest. Then you can take the eggs. Why chase away the mother's, why chase away the mother bird? Because by chasing away the mother bird, she can lay more eggs, but I don't think that's why. The real reason is compassion. The Torah is teaching us that we need to know and show compassion. We need to understand that beating your animals we're making them strain just isn't right. We can't cut down all the forests and jungles leaving the animals nowhere to live or have something to eat. Abandoning or making a dog fight, God forbid, fight or fight to death for our amusement just isn't right. Using animals and making them to suffer, we can have perfumes and cosmetics but do we really have to make them, do we have to test them on animals? Again, it just isn't right. Rosh Hashanah is less than three weeks, three weeks away. We ask God to understand and be compassionate with us. How do we expect God to show us compassion if we don't show compassion ourselves? Think about it. And remember, compassion, the folks in Harvey they're in a bad way. Do something. Okay? Till next week. Till next Tuesday. Torah Tuesday. Remember, comments, likes, emails, all that good stuff. Give me a holler. Hey, peace out. Whoops. I did that last week too. I hit the wrong button. Later. Have a good week.